Hello, everybody. It's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News, and we have Golden Bachelor the from the premiere season, Gary Turner, revealing the strange vetting process that exists to become the Golden Bachelor. Now, is this different than, I don't know, the vetting process of the younger generation on Bachelor or Bachelorette? Probably not, but um, it does involve the FBI. It does involve uh, sexually transmitted disease tests. And a little bit more than that. So we're going to get into that right now. Follow me on Instagram at dneals. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal for behind-the-scenes bonus content. If you're, uh, I don't know, digesting your Thanksgiving dinner and you want to join our live stream, we're live right now, baby. Go over there as you're watching this. We are live at the 10 a.m. hour Pacific time. And every afternoon, Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast. Okay, I'm going to get into the Gary stuff in a second. But... I, you know, some people like it and some people don't when I respond to fan comments. I, and I say fan loosely here. But here's an interesting one. Long time listener, but I am now stepping away. Bye. I cannot take the constant Nick bashing. I'm not always a huge fan of his either, but the way you go at him is ridiculous. Okay, first of all, I find this very interesting because I think I'm fair. Um, all I like to do is when someone tries to rewrite history, I like to, I don't know, show what they actually said. You know, when Nick came after, when Nick Vile came after Nick Thompson uh, for starting the UCAN Foundation, a foundation that's, you know, to bring awareness for mental health issues, I thought it was ridiculous that somebody like Nick Vial, who's trying to be a mental health advocate, would or a therapist at least, would come after a fellow man who's also from a reality show for their attempts to do something similar, as if there is only uh, one place at the dining room table and they're fighting over it. This isn't musical chairs. So I don't know. I don't hate the person. I just criticize the point. And I thought Nick's point was ignorant and probably involved more of an issue and a triggering with, I don't know, the fact that there's somebody else entering the space. I'm not really sure, folks. I'm not really sure. But to think that I'm coming after him, I don't think that's ridiculous at all. But either way, we've been getting a lot of these one-star reviews lately, and I don't want to put any uh, sort of conspiracy behind it, but I guess we could always throw a little music. Yeah, and, and, and I'm not saying that this is, you know, this is a result of a good thing, and that's when the channel grows, your content gets exposed to new people, and they go, oh, I don't really like this. And then some people go, oh, I absolutely love this. Like, right here. Hello from Utah. This is my favorite pod and I'm so excited about getting more. Thanks for all the hard work you put into this. It does not go unnoticed. Well, thank you so much. And that's the beauty of the buffet of podcasting is that we don't have to be for everybody, but I will be going on Monday, Cyber Monday to two episodes a day. That's right. I'm going to give you 20 minutes in the morning and 20 plus minutes in the afternoon. Uh, in the morning, we're going to discuss more pop culture. We're going to get you to work. We're going to get you content that might make you feel motivated and give you a little bit of the news for the day. And then in the afternoon, afternoon podcast. We're going to give you whatever we covered that day with regards to Bachelor Nation entertainment news and all of that jazz. All right, there's your update. Thank you all so much for all the reviews, positive or negative. We appreciate your talking about us. Golden Bachelor Gary Turner received his first STD test for show's ridiculously thorough vetting process. He revealed that other requirements for the process included sending his fingerprints to the FBI in a psychological evaluation with 360 questions. Now, rather Rather than just read verbatim what he said, I'm going to play that clip. Gary Turner was the guest on Justin Long's podcast. Let's have a listen to what he had to say. I'm curious too about the the process by which you became the, the golden bachelor. Like how did, I, you know, because I think to myself when I watch you, where did they find this guy? He's such a, which is why I think people want pictures. You seem like such an anomaly, that such a truly, especially considering what you've been through and, and that you've dealt with it in a healthy way. You're, you're, you're so in touch with your emotions and, and well, you're tr truly like such a kind person and handsome and all of the things that people want. Um, I would imagine they had to do a real in-depth background check because god forbid the first golden bachelor they find that there's some something yeah going. Because the worst thing would be if you find out that the first golden bachelor has like uh, a historic world war ii collection of nazi memorabilia it's like oh no come on that's not you know <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> i just appreciate history as long as it comes from this one slice of germany they probably really had to dig thoroughly uh, i was i was in florida february of this year and um, I was actually traveling with an old girlfriend. We were just friends. And I got a call from sure, ABC Gary. wanting me to go uh, to initiate the process uh, to go get an SDD test. And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> the, 
<laughs> Listen, you know what's so funny? You know what's so funny? Here's Gary, right? He survived Vietnam, the Korean War, the 70s, uh, the AIDS epidemic, all these things. And the first STD test he has to get is to be on The Bachelor, The Golden Bachelor. Gary's like, I play pickleball in my 70s. I'm not going to let a little bit of herpes slow me down. That's a little <laughs> bit of a tender moment, you know, when you're... Sure. Uh, you know, Everyone can relate to that. Yeah. And so there were uh, <laughs> clinical tests like that. There was... I had to send my fingerprints to the FBI. There were numerous really? background checks. Um, there was a psychological evaluation that was like 360 questions and then another hour of interview. And uh, I mean, oh, I the bet. vetting process is ridiculously thorough. What, what, how do you, how do you say that to your friend, your, your ex-girlfriend that you're traveling with? I got this call. What is that conversation? Like I got, uh, yeah. She knew that I was in the running for the Golden Bachelor because the, the process actually started three years ago. Before. That's what's so interesting is the Golden Bachelor has been sort of a joke for so long within the Bachelor community. Oh, are they finally going to shoot the season of the Golden Bachelor? No one actually thought it was really going to happen because it, it, in order for a show like that, there's just less of a sample size of people that might want to partake in this world of bachelor nation i mean you could no offense to anyone out there but uh, a bunch of uh drunk needy 20 somethings you can find them a dime a dozen you go to any college campus or whatever you know i don't applebee's across the country and pick a cast that'll service it just fine but finding that gary turner finding that person that we want to relate to as like a grandfather who's kind of had a hard uh recent sort of like a like stroke of luck here where he's lost his wife and he's hopeful and he's well-spoken and he's all there and he's not just some grumpy guy wearing, uh, you know, elastic uh, waistband jeans. No offense to elastic waistband jeans out there. We love them, but you know, you know what I'm trying to say. Well before COVID and it went dark during COVID. And um, so she kind of knew what was going on, but we were on vacation. We were enjoying a good time and it's like, okay, going to a clinic at such and such a place was going to take most of the next day. So it was like we were both a little resentful about giving up a day of vacation. Her reaction was a little bit stronger than mine. I'm sure. I, when was the last? Because you probably had an, an STD check. That must have been, when was the last one? 67, 68? They, they probably have much newer technology. As, as I recall, that may have been my very first ever STD test. I had no oh. idea what was going to happen. I, I didn't know... <laughs> I didn't know if they were going to look in the iris of my eye, take a urine <laughs> sample, a blood sample. I had no idea. Did not yeah, know. whichever, which orifice is going to be explored. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? I also want to address the 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 gelatin in the room. Um, why, Jerry? Why why Gary? Why why Gary? Not Jerry? How did that spelling come to be? Well, so you know what. I really respect Justin Long for all the things he could talk to Gary Turner about. He wants to know why he calls it Gary and not Jerry. And and I like that. I actually like that. And I'm very curious to find out. That was that was from my mom's side of the family, and she was Irish. And oh, okay. uh, Irish and Scottish say Gary, and it's spelled G-E-R-R-Y. Huh, okay. Um, well, to all of our Irish and Scottish listeners, I apologize for wasting the last couple of seconds of your time, because you already knew that. Um, I, I, well, I, I know you, you say that you want to find someone you can't live without, um, but having had such a profound love and having experienced that, which is something that you know not many people get to do in, in, in a lifetime, did you have reservations even once you were on the show? Did, did you ever struggle with the idea that I'll never find in this group what I had, you know, the, pro the profound nature of that love will not be available to me. again. Well, the first thing I had to do was admit to myself that I was not going to find the same kind of love. Um, mm. We were doing the old apples and oranges thing that I was indeed committed to finding my next right person, but I knew they would be vastly different than my wife. Um, you know, when you marry at a young age and you're thinking about children and careers and how to pay the bills. It's entirely different than what you look for when you're 70. And really all you're thinking about is what kind of fun are we going to have? Um, right. 
Wow, very, very profound. You know, to compare is despair. And here we have Gary Turner saying, look, there are different types of love. And we have to remember this. You know, it's like it's like that depression that some people have after they graduate college because they're like, oh, I miss the days of just sleeping in and drinking and partying all day. And it's like, okay, well, yes, but your 20s will be fun. And then when you get in your 30s, you're like, I miss being, you know, whatever. Well, your 30s will be fun. And you can find new ways to appreciate life. And it looks like Gary has done just that. Boy, I've been appreciating life with all the love you guys have been sending my way after yesterday's pregnancy news. I don't mean to be redundant because you might have already heard this on the first video of the day, but not everyone catches every video. Uh, but we are so thankful for all of your support. And we do have a copious amount of content coming your way. A cornucopia of content to be seasonal. Uh, that's right. Stuff your stockings with our vlog channel. <laughs> that's my Christmas gift to you is more content. Uh, you can just click this link over here and you can go watch my reaction to finding out I'm pregnant and all of the other things going on in our pregnancy journey. We'll be back with more in this afternoon's Bachelor Rush Hour podcast is coming up next.